My name is Rachel Hitano and I'm a graduate student in Dr. McCloskey's lab at UC Merced. My project is about building muscle strips out of human pluripotent stem cell derived cardiomyocytes. And for this, I tried two different methods to derive the cardiomyocytes. The first was a method that was optimized in our lab and we used growth factors to derive the cardiomyocytes. We plate them onto a laminin fibronectin blend. And uh, this protocol, although it does get up to 80% cells that are positive for cardiac specific marker, cardiac troponin I, uh, the efficiency of the amount of cells that became cardiomyocytes wasn't as high as another protocol that I tried, which is the Wnt inhibition method that was previously published by uh, a different lab. And so here, after we've uh, derived the cardiomyocytes, what we do is we have this collaboration with uh, Professor Asada at MIT, and what it is is it's gelatin and thrombin, and we plate this into a microfluidic device. Uh, when the gelatin solidifies, we can remove metal pins which leave a cavity in this gelatin, and we can then pipette cells and fibrinogen through the cavity, and when the gelatin goes from a solid to liquid state, the thrombin diffuses into the tissue to form a fibrin hydrogel. And we think this method of building the tissue can give us a higher cell density than if we were to seat cells onto an extracellular matrix. Our plan is to then put these cells onto a decellularized bladder matrix and put this into a mouse infarct model with some collaborators at UC Davis. So, so far, I've tried these two different methods for deriving cardiomyocytes. They have very drastically different um, morphologies when they're being differentiated and when they're in their final cardiomyocyte cell fate. Although both of them get, um, can have a final cardiac troponin I expression of 80 to 90 percent uh, because the, the Wnt inhibition protocol produced so many more cardiomyocytes, this is the one that I went with to make the, the muscle strip. So I've seeded these cells into the muscle strip and you can see there's a very high density of cardiomyocytes in the strip. Uh, next we'll be characterizing these strips more and adding some mechanical strain to get the formation of the cardiomyocytes to be more elongated and aligned. We'll then put it into our mouse infarct model. Thank you. You're welcome.